Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Stay focused. We know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. Uh, now, to today, I want to take a, a quick look at uh, Caitlin Clark and the duo of Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston. Right now, lately, you know that they've been they've been you can tell that they've been developing a chemistry and, and uh, Caitlin and Aaliyah Boston, they starting to look good together. They starting to work work good together um you know you see a lot more um uh Aaliyah is is understanding like where to you know she's flashing to the uh to the to the foul line and uh and to the wings and she's getting some shots and stuff like that and it's creating opportunities not only for uh for her but for other players on the team so definitely their chemistry the chemistry between the two are developing and it's benefiting the uh, the other players on the team. Now, like where, in my opinion, like where, in my opinion, do this, do this duo, like how do they stack up against the other teams, especially the better teams in the league? Like, uh, for instance, like, say like the Aces, you know what I mean? Because eventually I know the goal is to, is to, uh, is, is for all of these women, you know, to win a championship. So where do, Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston stack up against the, the duo for like, uh, let's say the aces, like um, for Asia Wilson and, and, and Kelsey Plum. Right. And so when I'm comparing the two, those two duos, I'm thinking that like a uh, Aaliyah, like uh, uh, Alyssa, I'm t uh, um, Asia Wilson, right. For instance, versus Aaliyah Boston. And what the difference is between those two, for example, like the difference between those two, I think Asia Wilson, uh, I think she's better offensively and defensively, like offensively, Asia's footwork, I think is better um, offensively. Also, Asia, um, she she has a more well-rounded game so she can she can shoot inside and out. And also she can hit the she can knock down a three pointer. Now um Aaliyah Boston she's good with as far as her uh she can play with her back to the basket and she has a decent mid-range game but her footwork is not like what um Asia Wilson is so I would give the the advantage to Asia Wilson um Aaliyah Boston is still like developing her game and not quite ready you know she's not quite on that level yet so now when you take all right now the next matchup I want to take is like Say like uh Caitlin Clark and and uh Kelsey Plum. Now Kelsey Plum, she is also a player that like she can score all three levels. Like she had the jumper, she got the three pointer, the mid range, and she can go to all the way to the rat. And also she can set up other teammates. So you now offensively, uh Caitlin Clark, I, I you you can't really. She's even going to shoot the three or she's going to go all the way to the rack. Like I haven't really seen much of a mid range game from her. So I would give the edge right now to Kelly Plum, you know, and that um, also on the defensive end, like it's Kelsey Plum definitely play better defense. You know what I mean? And so when, when you stack up these two young ladies, uh, Caitlin Clark and, and uh, Aaliyah Boston against the top teams, or even you could take the New York Liberty, and the New York Liberty is the same way, right? I think the only thing that – one of the things I think that uh, Caitlin is missing and, and Aaliyah Boston are missing right now is they are not really considered two-way ball players, meaning, like, on a defensive end, they are not really um, as strong as, like, other duos in the league. Um, you can take um, – for instance, you could take the New York Liberty, you know, that duo they have up there with uh, Sabrina Inescu and um, uh, uh, Breonna Stewart. You know, again, those two young ladies are two-way ball players. 
and they can score at all three levels. And I, I'm thinking that, you know, um, Caitlin and Aaliyah Boston, they're off to a good start, no doubt. Um, but their game, you can see that their games both are going to need some more development in order for them to be, um, you know, to be able to challenge the better the better teams or the better duos in the league. But they off to a good start. Um, I think that uh, Christy Size is going to probably have to put like a little bit more talent around them. I think they're going to need another big, like the big that they have now. I think her name is Smith. The other big that they have on a fever team, her name is Smith. And she's not, she's good, but she's not as, you know, she, I think they're going to need somebody a little bit that can pull a little bit more weight and take some more of that burden off of uh, uh, Aaliyah Boston. And so with that being said, you know, I, I think right now their record shows that they're in the middle of the pack where they belong. You know, um, like I said, they play better defense. If they was more formidable on defense, then they would definitely move up in the ranks. Right now, their record is 9-14. and 14, So they're number four in the East behind the Chicago Sky. And um, I'm going to do a video about the Chicago Sky, too, like comparing um, that duo, like the duo at, in Chicago to some of the other top teams in the league and just to see where they measure up. I think that, um, like, their team is good, but they also have some deficiencies that are noticeable too, you know, like when it comes to, um, you know, looking at them and some of the better teams in the league. But um, that's that's my take for right now on on Caitlin and uh, Aaliyah Boston. Let me know what you think, um, you know, and, uh, you know, what they need and, and how, how long you think it'll be before they able to, uh, you know, to make it all the way to like get some. I think this year, I think this year it's a good possibility that the fever will be in the playoffs, but, um, you know, like, uh, it's, you know, once they get into the playoffs, like how, how soon do you think they'll be able to really be showing off championship contenders? Um, with that being said, make sure to like, and subscribe to the channel. Also, um, you know, just leave a comment cause I'm interested in seeing what you all think. And, uh, I'll check you all out on the next video.